So the first farm I have to build is a cow and sheep farm, so I can have wool, leather, and food. Okay, the cow and sheep farm has been completed, for now. The next farm we're gonna build is a compact farm, so we can get infinite carrots, potatoes, and wheat. But to build it, I'm gonna need to gather some resources. Okay, and now the compact farm is complete, so we can get some potatoes. For the next build, I'm gonna need some wood. Now it's time to build the sugarcane farm. And there we go, we finished the outline. Now let's start building the actual farm. Alright, this is the finished product and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So for the next farm, I'm gonna build a creeper farm. But to do that, I need some sticky pistons and I have no slime bowls. So I'm gonna go find a swamp. Now that I have slime balls, I'm gonna fly home and collect the rest of the materials I need. This should be everything I need. And I think I'm gonna build it above the ocean, so let's get to work. All right, it's time to start building. So I finished building and now I'm just gonna AFK for 10 minutes and see how much gunpowder I get. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and I've got uh, 23 gunpowder. Uh, I think something might be broken, but uh, it's okay for now. The creeper farm is finished, so it's time to move on. And next up, we're gonna build a villager breeder and trading farm. All right, the first thing I need to build is a villager breeder, so I can get some villagers down here. There should be villagers here. Keyword should be, oh, never mind. They are all gone, but there should be villagers here. And now all I have to do is get these villagers back to the base, which is gonna take a while. All right, so they're supposed to land in this slime block. So let's hope these rails work and they don't die somehow. Okay, it's time to send them off. And it looks like it worked fine. Oh no, one of them died. No, dude. Oh, I guess I have to get another one then. All right, let's hope he doesn't die this time. And there we go. Now we just have to build the villager breeder. Alright, the villager breeder is done, so now we just need to get the villagers into it. There we go, both villagers are inside now. It looks like we already have one more villager too. I also have to expand this platform so I can keep more villagers here. Alright, there we go, this should be fine for now. But next, we need to be able to get carrots easier, so I'm gonna make an automatic carrot farm. Boom, there we go. Now we just need to make the farm. And we have to put a villager in here. There we go. I think I'm gonna try to make my underground base look a little bit nicer. It already looks a little bit better, but we aren't done yet. And it's finished now, kind of. It's also time to start building the trading farm. Now we just have to keep breaking and placing this until again breaking or mending. And finally, I got unbreaking. Okay, I'm just gonna get some salts and a nether wart, or I can make some potions. Alright, I'm also gonna make another wart form here real quick. And there we go. But now I need to brew some weakness potions, so I can make the villagers' trades cheaper. Now I need to get this villager mending, which is probably gonna take a while. It took a long time, but I finally got mending. And now it's time we get some cheaper trades from these villagers. Okay, both villagers have been converted back. Alright, and now I'm gonna buy a lot of mending books. I'm also gonna add some mending to my elytra so it won't break as fast. So, I wanna build a pigman form next. But to do that, I'm gonna need to gather a lot of materials. And the first material I'm gonna gather is some magma blocks, since I need about three and a half shulker boxes full of it. Okay, it took me a while, but I collected all of the magma blocks I need. I also need some trap doors, so I'm gonna gather some wood real quick. That should be enough wood. Now we need to gather a lot of sand too.
Okay, we have enough sand, now we just need to smelt it. And while that smelts, I need to gather a lot of iron too. I'm back for mining and I think I should have enough iron. So now we just need to keep smelting the glass and iron. So I have finally gathered everything I will need to build the pigman farm. So we can get started now. And we can get up to the nether roof again. Then we have to build a portal. And it looks like it didn't work, so I'll be right back and I'm gonna fix it. Alright, I got the pearls working, so now we need to start building the farm. The first thing I have to do is go up about 100 blocks. Then we can start building the outline. Next, we need to start building the collection area. Okay, now I have to place a lot of minecarts. The minecarts are all placed, and now we just have to extend this up a bit. Okay, we were making good progress, but I just realized I forgot a couple of things. The first one is orange dye, which I didn't think I wanted at first, but it will look a lot better. And the second thing I forgot is snow. The last thing is just some frostwalker boots for later. You'll see why I need them. So we are basically done with the collection area. Now we just need to fill in this huge circle. Now that the circle is done, we can start making some platforms for the pigment to spawn on. And there we go, the first platform is done. We have three layers to go. And there's layer two, two more to go. Layer three is complete. And last but not least, layer four is finally complete. Now we just have to add some finishing touches and the form will be done. All right, to add in this glass for gas won't spawn. Now we just need to add some trap doors to this top layer. Then we can add some chests to keep all the loot we get in. So the farm is complete now. And I decided I'm gonna FK for 10 minutes to see what level I can get to. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and it looks like we went from level 54 to level 89, which is pretty good. And that is the next farm complete. Alright, so I'm just gonna fix the enchantments inside of my armor since it's not the best right now. Okay, all of my gear is enchanted now with mending and it's in better enchantments. Now I'm gonna AFK here for a bit to repair it all. So the next thing I'm gonna do is build an iron farm, but to do that I need to bring some villagers to the surface. Alright, now I just need to put all these villagers in minecarts and get them up. And there we go, that's villager number one. Villager number two, that means there's one left. And that's it, the third and final villager is here. Now it's time to start building. And this should be everything we need. So the plan with this is to build in the spawn chunk so it's always spawning golems. I have no idea if this is actually a thing, but I'm pretty sure I've heard of it before. Alright, now we need to get these villagers up here. Okay, that's the first two villagers. And this is the last one, number three. So we just have to place some stone bricks up here. Then we can slap this lava down right here so the iron golems will die. So the iron farm has been completed. Now we just have to wait to see if it works while we are in other chunks. Alright, so next we're gonna build a raid farm. But to build it, we need to gather a lot of stuff again. And first up, I'm gonna collect some sand. And after collecting that sand, we can get some wood. Alright, and I collected a bunch of the other little stuff I needed, and now we can start building the raid farm. So now I have to fly out to the ocean and pick a spot to build this. And now I just have to get a villager all the way out here. Okay, the rail is finished, now we just have to send this villager up. Now we put him in a boat, and he will spend the rest of eternity locked in a 1x1 one one glass box. The first thing we have to do is build this glass tunnel up by about 100 blocks. Then we can make a water elevator. After that we make another tunnel which will be used to activate the raid. Now we can make a platform where we will defeat the raids. And we place some of these like this. Then we go up a little bit more. And now we will build the platform where the pillagers actually spawn. Then we can slap down some redstone repeaters. Then some comparators. And the redstone is complete. Now we just have to make a little box here for the ravagers. Some signs to hold the lava in. Okay, then I just have to place a lot of boats and nudge them in. That took way longer than I should have, but now I'm done. Alright, now is the moment of truth. We just have to get some bad omen and see if it works. Okay, and... Oh no. 
Bro, no way I actually messed something up. Well, I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going to try to fix this disaster. So it's been well over an hour and it should be completely fixed now. We got bad omen and we fly back up. Moment of truth again. Well, it definitely looks like it works better than last time. Now I just have to finish all these guys off. After two raids, look at all this loot I got. This is actually pretty insane. And with that, the raid form has been officially completed. Okay, my base is really messy, so I'm gonna clean it up a bit. And there we go. It already looks a lot better. I pretty much moved everything into this chest room I made in episode one. And one last thing, I think we should check if the iron form is working before the hour ends. And it looks like it's finally working, even when we aren't in the chunks, which is awesome. Next, I'm gonna add another layer to the automatic villager farms. But before I do that, I'm gonna gather some wood. Okay, now we start adding the third layer to the farm. So we only have a couple things left to do. The first thing you have to do is put water in all of these corners again. And the second thing you have to do is make all of this into farmland. The last thing you need to do is plant all of these seeds. Well, it's done, but I think it's still missing something, so I'll be right back. Hey, and there we go. It's looking a lot better, and we can add more layers later on too. Okay, so I decided I'm going to build a guardian farm. And the first thing I need to collect is a lot of cobblestone. Okay, that should be enough cobblestone. Now we just need to get some more sand to make glass. There we go, the sand is now all collected too. Now I just need to smelt it all. And while that's melting, I'm gonna collect the next thing I need, which is some soul sand. Okay, and that's all the soul sand we'll need. The next thing I need to do is get some iron. Well, it looks like the farm has been working fine and this should be enough iron. All right, and this should be enough hoppers now too. And the last thing I need is a lot of soul campfires. Okay, and now we can get to building. This is all the materials we'll need. So the only thing left to do before I build the farm is making a better helmet. And here we go, this helmet will do just fine. Now all we have to do is find a monument. Okay, I looked around for a bit and I did end up finding one. So before we start building, I need to kill all three of the elder guardians. All right, that's the first one dead. That's number two. Okay, and that's the last one gone. Now we can start building the farm. Okay, now that I'm done with the outline, I just have to build some platforms. I'm just gonna finish this real quick. And there we go. Now I'm gonna have to place a lot of hoppers. I'm not gonna pin any of this in the video because of how painful this process is. Now I just have to remove the water on both sides. After that, I need to place some campfires for the Gordians won't get too cold. Okay, I have to place a lot of soul sand now. All four of the soul sand platforms have been finished. Now I have to start making the sorting system so the items will be transported into the chests. After that, I need to place water on these platforms for the Gordians will flow onto the campfires. Now I have to remove all of this nether rack. Alright, I finished clearing all of this out. Then I just have to place some glass in the middle, and then extend this glass up by one block. And finally, I have to fill in this entire thing with a layer of cobblestone. And there we go. I filled it in and it's coming together pretty well. Okay, and the last thing I need to do is make the storage system. So I just have to place a lot of chests here, then some hoppers behind, then finally make a platform to AFK on. Okay, so that's basically it. We made a lot of farms in this video. And if you enjoyed it, you should leave a like and share it with a friend. Alright, well that's it. Thank you for watching, and if you want to check out one of my other videos, please do. I'll see you guys next time.